Uh, welcome to the another uh, question. So, in this video, what we are discussing, find out the nth term of Fabonic series using recursion. Okay. If I want to give a indexing, so what will be it? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And if you ask me, Hey Ashwini, what is the uh, like term, nth term, right? So basically, the formula of nth term or this Fibonic series is any, you can check the any item or any number. That number will be a sum of its previous two number. So if you say, what is the fourth term? The end will be the 2 plus 3. So you can check 1 plus 2 is 3. So you can ask me like nth n minus 1 plus n minus 2. So I want you to write a function that will return me a nth term. So that is public static integer and fib integer n okay which term you want to take out right now you like what we have learned till now i just assume this my function is already working right it is working for n so this is a magic right now what I want to do like integer fib1 equals to fib n minus 1 integer fib2 equals to fib n minus 2 and return What it is fib1 plus fib2 perfect because we already know the equation from this series like if you say what is the eighth term then uh, what is the sixth term then it will be a four or five plus right so but what will be the base case you can ask me so i will say you the base case is a and equal equals to zero or and equal equals to 1 you have to return 1 i hope you are getting it like uh, n equal equals to 0 and n equals to what why we are putting a base case right because as you can check the initial series we are talking about nth term right so now let me write a code for you and then we will discuss why this is a not good approach okay so let's me go to the intellij okay so what i want to do let me write a new class fib okay and i will say here main and let me write a function for it public static void okay and that is fib and integer five not no 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 uh fib and it is integer n and first of all what i want to do uh fib one equals to and here n minus 1 because I believe that my function is already working for which one this fib one and it is integer okay now integer fib 2 and it is fib n minus 2 okay and in return it is say uh, this is only fib 
okay fem plus fem two okay fem plus fem two and data but base case very important if and equal equals to zero then uh, we will say return n why and here we have make a small mistake let me correct it so what it is so we will say here only this one okay and another one it is like here i will write if and equal equals to one then return and why as you can check the base case if your zero is zero then return zero if your base case is one then return one so we are talking about base cases okay we are because we are making our input small so if and equal equals to one return n okay now let me run this after calling here okay fine but before calling it let me cut and paste inside it okay and call run this one so the output may be a five because as you can check the fifth term is your five okay now let's understand why this is a not a good approach okay i'm calling this for five right so first call will be go to the four three two and as well as one from two like it will go to the one and once it return from one it will give one and it will go to the zero and from zero it will give it zero so basically when it finished a second one is finished one plus zero it will give you one but once it is finished like uh, upper part is finished another call will be here go to n minus 2 it will be one why i am talking about n minus 2 as you can check this that's why we are talking about those step calls and all because this one will be keep on going and activation record put in a stack so once it will be completed right so again this call will start it so that's why let's suppose the three third call is completed from here right so it will go to the now this one n minus 2 right n minus 2 here one call is go and it will say what it is like 1 1 okay and from here it is 2 so you can return a 2 because 1 or 1 again one more call is go and minus 2 so this 2 and from here one call is given that is n minus 1 that is 1 and minus 2 and 2 minus 2 it is 0 so as you can check here what is output is like here 1 here 0 and what is 2 is returning 1 so it is returning 1 so overall it is returning 3 again we are talking about n minus 2 so it is 3 and again it is come then one call is going n minus uh, 1 then 1 uh, 2 then 1 and no no n minus 1 it is 2 and it is 1 as you can check again one call is go to 1 and again a call is go to 0 so it is 1 and it is it is 1 and it is 0 so 2 will return to it and it is 1 and one return to one so basically it is returning two right so this is three and this is two output is five now you got it but most important point we just put n equals to five fifth 
fabric term but you can see two 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 the same equation we are computing again and again three three right so only the input n equals to five we are computing a two how many times one two three so that's why it will become a increasing a time because execution is increasing so execution increasing time also increasing so that's why this is a not good approach we will announce it and improve this in a dp videos okay i hope you understand this i will see you in the next video